Hello friends, Tanya here for Trinity Stamps and today is day two of sneak peeks for the August release. There are gobs of amazing products that we'll be releasing on August 30th and there are several, it's called Autumn Gatherings is the theme for this release. There's lots of Halloween stuff and all kinds of autumn themed products. There are stamps and dies, there are standalone dies, there are stencils, there are foiling, cut and foil plates and plain foils. So much good fun coming. I cannot wait for this release to completely release. I am featuring a few spooky fun products in this video. I'm making two cards as you may have seen in that preview snap and we're going to start with this fun witch's brew stamp set. As you can see here I have stamped out the cute little witch with her cauldron and her kitty cat and I am coloring them with Copic markers. Um, not complicated at all just two to three colors and some blending these images are not huge, so they don't actually take a lot of coloring to get completed. This one has a lot of small spaces to color, but she is so darn cute. I apologize that this gets a little fuzzy here. Um, I had zoomed this way in and didn't realize that it uh, focused on the marker and then didn't focus back on the image. Leave me a comment in the uh, below and let me know how you feel about that. If you would rather I cut out any blurry coloring or if you'd rather see the coloring even if the video quality isn't the best. Um, I think this witch is adorable for actually all kinds of events, occasions. I have several family members who would do or who would enjoy a card that's Halloween themed any time of the year because they love Halloween so much. It is, other than Christmas, I think the biggest holiday celebrated in the United States these days because it is such a fun thing. It is pure whimsy and all about getting together and having fun. I'm adding some cute bubbles here we're going to finish coloring the spoon that she's using to stir her pot. And then I decided I wanted an orange tabby. Usually it's a black cat, but I wanted an orange tabby. So we're starting out with um, E13, and then we're going to use E08 to make our orange tabby. And I did not put a lot of thought in this. I just looked in my Copic bin and pulled a couple of colors I thought would make a good orange tabby cat. And there we have a very simple colored tabby. It's a small image, so it'd be a little tough. Next, we're going to use the Moon Layers stencil. I already stenciled that. I can't show you the actual product, so this is what we uh, have here. It's a layering stencil that creates this beautiful moon. You can do a man in the moon version, or you can do this moon version. Um, Emily actually showed using it these stencils to create an earth. I'm doing some ink blending around this masked moon and this is going to be the backdrop for our little witch stirring her potion. These colors you wouldn't think would work well together and they don't blend easily, the green and the purple, but they do look pretty fantastic when this is all done. This is Twisted Citron, uh, Wilted Violet, and Uncharted Mariner. I'm just spattering some clean water on here and letting that um, add some fun spattery looks. And then we're going to add some liquid pixie dust and spatter that all over the front of the paper. And then I'm going to use my Modern Embossed A7 Statch, Stack hmm, to die cut this panel to fit on the front of an A7 card or a 5x7 card. I did use that hammer mill again, which is only an 80 pound because that's the only weight I have in the hammer mill. I did add some scraps of cardstock behind that to add a little extra stability and a little bit of height. 
now we're going to plot out where the rest of our pieces are going to go. I'm also using the Spooky Sentiment Cut and Foil here, and I've foiled Spooky in Tangerine Foil, which can be a finicky foil. So I was super pleased when this foiled perfectly. I'm also taking this sentiment and splitting it up so I can put the word spooky right in the middle. And my secret to making these look good is to just wiggle your scissor to get an uneven but kind of close cropping of those words. We're going to add those near the bottom of the card. I've added some extra layers of cardstock scrap behind these images, uh, two layers under each of the 80 pound cardstock. That just makes them stand out a little more against this very bold background. I do love ink blending and it's especially appropriate during fall season. Just going to add my last little sentiment here. And then we are going to add some um, sentiment and image to the inside of our card. This sentiment is from the same stamp set. This says, witching you, no, best witches on your birthday. And that's where we're going to add our little orange tabby cat. Here he is, ready to roll. We're just going to add a little glue right behind him and add him to the inside of the card. Now the front of the card isn't complete without some embellishments. So I'm pulling out the brand new Black Magic rhinestones. They come in four sizes. They are black with an orange iridescence and that goes perfectly with that harvest moon there in the background. Just adding those quickly to the front of the card with my pickup stick. And my tidy tray makes it super easy to sort them and put them back in their container. That is my first card. And then for the second one, we're going to use several products. This is the Trick or Treat stamp set. It came out a couple of years ago and it's actually sized for a slimline card. I'm going to use it on another five by seven card here. I've stamped all of these words with um, Distress Oxide inks and then I went over the top of them with Versamark or a clear embossing ink and then I'm adding some sparkly clear embossing powder and sealing all of that in. I did stamp each of those colors two to three times and I did stamp the embossing ink twice also. Now we're going to uh, ink blend another background and we're using shabby shutters, shaded lilac and broken china. This is another blending that you wouldn't think would work but it does. The green is always, the green and the purple transition is a little difficult always, but for Halloween things, it is perfect. The green is going to be a grounding agent and the purple and the blue will be our sky. We're going to add some water spatters again and some liquid pixie dust to get that gorgeous night sky background. As you can see, I always have a little bit of liquid pixie dust in this well in my palette, and I just add a little water to rehydrate it when it dries out. We're using the Modern Embossed Edge A7 Stack again. This is a different size uh, than the first one. I used the third from the largest on the first card, and this is the second from the largest on this card. We're going to adhere that directly to our card panel and that actually was some 100 pound card stock so I did not add any extra card stock behind it. Now we're going to take this um, Haunted Hills die. There are multiple pieces to this die set. I'm just using the largest one. And this is another die set that's coming out in this release. It is so cool. I love all the detail in this. Now you could add this road back in a different color and I've layered the how, everything but the road twice so I'd have a little change in height or depth on this image. Now I did place this just a smidgen higher than I fully intended to put on the card base but that actually works to my advantage. Just going to adhere that nicely to the front. 
with my precision glue. And then we're going to use this fly by stamp and die set. This is another silhouette stamp set that came out a couple of years ago. And with this release, we are getting coordinating dies with this stamp set. The same with the trick and treat or trick or treat stamp set. We are getting coordinating dies for this stamp set now with this release also. There's one more stamp set that's going to have that benefit on this release. And I'm going to use that one on this card also. It just worked perfectly together. I love that little kitty cat that's included. There's actually a spider included in this trick or treat stamp set. And as you can see, I took all of the silhouette kiddos in costume and stamped them in different distress oxide colors and then heat embossed over the top with uh, some clear embossing ink and some sparkly clear embossing powder. And there is the a sentiment for almost everything sentiment on the front there that said happy Halloween and there are 38 stamps sentiments in that stamp set and dies for every single one. Now this adorable little spider comes from the trick or treat stamp set and the die cuts out just the body of the spider. The web doesn't get die cut. So it actually works perfect to add on top of a stamped background image and then add it right on top. Here we have our sentiment that's all die cut. And now instead of one line, you've got uh, multiple ways to arrange this on your projects. I just added these to the inside of the card and this sentiment comes from the Sheets and Giggles stamp and die set. That's another stamp set that's coming out in this release and it's adorable. It's so cute and so punny. There's so many great punny stamp sets coming out. That is card number two. It has so much going on. I didn't add anything extra. I hope you enjoyed these projects. I had a blast creating them. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please take a moment and do that now. And if you're interested in the product products I use today, check that description box below. On August 30th, I will add links for the products that are not available yet. Until next time, here's a couple more videos I thought you might enjoy. Bye-bye.